Hey everyone, Miss Carol from Hickory Ridge Middle School. I am the art and ceramics teacher there. And I'm just gonna give you a brief description of course offerings for next year. So um, in eighth grade, you have three options. You've got advanced art, visual arts, and ceramics. So it, with advanced art, you're gonna need prior approval from me. And that is a year long course regular eighth grade art visual arts is a semester long and ceramics is also a semester seventh grade we have just visual arts and that is for a semester and sixth grade um, visual arts as well but for a quarter so i'm just going to briefly go through these slides i don't want to spend too much of your time here explaining all of this but in eighth grade um, we'll do a clay project a printmaking project some graffiti, a painting, and study elements and principles of design. Um, one of the favorite projects of the year is a ceiling tile that we do for our media center. So if you've ever been in our media center, you would see the wonderful ceiling tiles that the eighth graders have created of book covers um, to kind of advertise the books that the media center offers. Um, we have advanced art in eighth grade. This is a year long class and that uh, requires prior approval from Miss Carol. And it's also a course where mainly um, after we review some concepts that we've learned in sixth and seventh grade, we'll then move into where you're kind of taking the reins of your own art making and um, researching themes of your choosing and then creating artworks based off of that. Ceramics is going to be primarily hand building. Uh, we do have two potter's wheels, so we try to get everybody onto the potter's wheel in a rotation type schedule, but for the most part, it's um, based on hand construction methods like um, slab, pinch, and coil, hand modeling, those types of things. In seventh grade, we do um, a clay project. We study one point perspective, um, shading value form, um, painting, where we look at value tint, tone, and shade, and lots of other fun things. In sixth grade, we are getting introduced to value shading and blending, color, color schemes. We study ancient Greek pottery, going along with your social studies curriculum. Um, we also do a project of portraiture where I just give you guys a good introduction to facial features and proportions so that you uh, will be able to draw better human figures. Sketchbooks are a major part of every course that I have, so be prepared to have a sketchbook. We make them in class. It's where we brainstorm, plan, have our ideas, and everyone's first project will be designing a sketchbook cover. Yeah. Lastly, if you have any questions, um, my name is Miss Carol, and my email address is lindsay.carol at cabarrus.k12. Dot nc dot us. Please feel free to reach out with any questions you have about next year's courses, and I look forward to seeing you in class. Hi there. My name is Ms. Shaw, and I am a life skills teacher at Hickory Ridge Middle School. I'm going to take a few minutes of your time to tell you a little bit about the course descriptions of my classes for next year. So I'm going to walk you um, through that on my screen through a slideshow. All right. Okay, so for sixth grade, the class that I teach for sixth grade is called Career Decisions. Um, I cover your interest, value, attitudes, kind of like um, some self-reflection and all of that, and then choosing a career cluster that is good for a person with your personality type. We do a research project. Um, we do a really fun learning styles activity. And um, when we're all done with the career section of it, we kind of dive in and do some uh, research on careers in design where they get, they get to design their own fabric and sew a pillow. And then also careers in the food service and hospitality industry where they get to, um, they get to cook at least one time. Sometimes it's more than that. Okay. Uh, and that is a nine week course. For seventh grade, 
It is a semester-long course. It's called Exploring Life Skills. I highlight two topics, um, one for each quarter. So the first quarter of the semester is a sewing project. We do a hand sewing unit, and they make a sock animal. Um, it's really fun. It doesn't take the full time. It takes about six weeks, and then with the remaining three, we go ahead and start our foods unit, um, going over the basics of nutrition, food safety, and um, kitchen safety, reading recipes, measuring, and then they cook throughout the rest of the semester. My average seventh grade class gets to cook eight to ten times, and we cook once a week, so it's the majority of the class. Um, it's really fun. We do competitions, stuff like that. Okay, and then lastly, in eighth grade, it's also called Exploring Life Skills, but the two topics that I cover through the curriculum are apparel and interior design. Apparel is essentially a sewing class. They will become masterful on the sewing machine. We do very challenging projects um, on there. They get to choose their project, and um, normally we do an upcycle project part of that where they have to bring something in that they would have been getting rid of and we upcycle it into their project. Um, that takes over nine weeks, approximately 12 weeks on the sewing machines to learn everything and all that. It's super fun though because it's a lab situation. And then the interior design part of it, we go over like the elements of design, color schemes, and it's a two-part assignment where one part of it, it's over a month long, one part of it, they are an interior designer, and then the other part of it, they're a decorator. Um, so they literally design their dream home from the ground up all the way from, from the blueprint, from the front yard, backyard, all the way to like the throw pillows that they're going to be using. So it's super fun. This is not a foods class in eighth grade. Uh, if we finish everything early and I have extra time, I sometimes will do some bonus labs with my eighth graders just because I know they really want to. But this is not a foods class. Miss Spoons teaches the uh, foods class in eighth grade. So if you're interested in that, she does way more foods and nutrition and stuff like that in eighth grade. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.
Bienvenidos a su clase de español, 8th grade. In this course, you will learn, a, you will have an introduction to high school Spanish. So we will learn besides um, express, you know, exchanging personal information, you will also learn about verb conjugation, pronouns, stem forms, and how to interact with these verbs and talk about your personal description, talk about somebody else's you know, description, talk about jobs, what people, what jobs people do, you know, talk about your family, talk about a, um, a different things, different activities that people do, you know, um, you know, and yourselves. So it will be um, a little bit more of a deeper exercise, you know, course than the regular ones you had in sixth grade and seventh grade. So I hope you guys come join us. And there will be lots of projects with Google Classroom, Kahoot, uh, Quizlet, WebQuest, and many others. Uh, adios, text, but we'll be included too. So I hope you guys join us on there. Okay, I'll see you there. Adios.